upset, feeling turned down, feeling like I've done what I can, but how come nothing seems to work out for me? Looking at the three of cups that are empty. So this is uh, what they call being a, a pessimistic, right? A pessimist. But behind you, Aries, is a two of cups. You're upset because you still love the person. You're upset because you still have expectation. You're upset because you feel that there is a need for you to do more, but there's nothing more for you to give because they always screw it up. You're upset because you felt like this was a soulmate. You, you're upset for a lot of reason. But the main thing here is you still love your person because there's a two of cups behind you. Mm -hmm. That's something significant with the five of cups. The bridge behind the five of cups over here this is a uh, when you go through so much with a person because there's a lot of hurdle in that river so you went through all those things already with them and you still didn't get the result or the outcome or whatever you're expecting from this connection okay that's the five of cups right there okay so um let's see uh what's going on here with uh with the five of cups we're gonna go into your person's side and then the other person, um, and then we're going to do your astrology, of course. We're going to do your sidereal, and then we're going to do, like we mentioned, oracle. Okay, so um, let me shuffle this. And while I'm shuffling this, um, I'm going to um, show to you guys, um, if you are wondering about, um, like, trying to figure out, you know, connection your spouse the nature of the relationship how it's gonna manifest um, i made a short clip for a free class um this is this one we're learning the nature of the relationship who your spouse is gonna be when are you gonna get married how to see the when the who you have here what we call the mahadasha say in the app you click it and you look at Jupiter, since Jupiter is the karka for the spouse. November 8, 2021 to December 2023. If this is your ascendant, this is your first house, then this timing for relationship is coming. The Mahadasha is the timing for each of the planet in total. So we're going to be looking also at your D9 or your Navamsha chart, which also shows the relationship chart, the marriage chart. Very, very important for people who's looking for relationship, trying to get into a commitment download the two apps that i recommend step one and step two in the description box below when you sign up to our class you'll be getting a notification to get all the secrets on how to predict okay so those are free classes so once you download the app we'll be sending you guys the free classes this coming week mm -hmm. so everything is in the description box below Step one is download the astrology app that I use. It's in the description. Okay. Then step two, I'll talk about the step two also. Let me explain this. Okay. Let me explain how it works for people who's new. Um, this is the tarot. You don't need your chart on this one. This is a form of divination. It is a set of cards. It picks up as long as you're in front. So you have nothing to worry there. Once I start doing astrology, I do sidereal, Vedic astrology. So your placements would be different because we follow different calculation. Okay, but you don't need to get lost. If you don't know your birth chart, you can get your birth chart for free. That way you know your ascendant and moon sign. Because when I start the astrology, it's going to be based on Ascendant and Moon Sign. This one, it picks up you. Okay? So you have nothing to worry. You don't need... Some people don't know their, your, their time and place of birth. Mm, okay? So, let's go here. You're in the Knight of Pentacles with the, five of, uh, with the Seven of Cups. Okay. Um, the way I see this is... You want to reach out. Knight of Pentacles with the Seven of Cups. It's like you're confused. You don't know whether should I reach out. Knight of Pentacles with the Seven of Cups. You're not sure where it's going. Okay. Death card over here with the Five of Cups. Um, this is showing that in this situation, you feel the need to connect with them. Five of Cups. 
and then because there's something good about this with the star card okay like you feel the need you don't know if if there's hope but you feel a little confused seven of cups over here and then you have the hmm it feels like you have this mixed feelings about getting in touch with them because you see all these sign symbols and synchronicity number wise music the food you you feel like i think they're trying to connect with me i think you know there's a message from the divine this is what you're feeling right now but you're too upset right with the five of cups but everything around you seems to be about them you're at work you know like the one who's going to deliver the food is the name of the person you're at the coffee shop the one who's dealing with your with your coffee is the name of the person again you see all this you know the billboard everything is about signs about your guides telling you about the love that you guys have, Ten of Cups. And then you have here the Death card. You want things to change. You want things to change. I want things to change right now for the better. Now, in astrology, before I go there, um, I'm going to share with you guys the step two, which is the other app that I use. It's an astrology planner, especially that there is a star card over here, which is divine timing. Now, one thing I like with the astrology planner that I use, download it. It's for free. You can download it. You can download for free. Is that there are the green days and then there are the majestic days. In astrology, there are specific times that we should reach out. Let's just say pay a debt, you know, cut her hair. All these things should be done in a specific time. Okay? Because timing is everything. So if you feel the need, there will be like, you know, you put your information and you see it. It's like, oh, this is the time I'm going to reach out because it's more favorable for you. You know, like, oh, you should have texted me, let's just say, um, you know, on a Monday because, I, you know, they're more open, you know, but you text it on a, on a Mars day, basically. And then it's like it's more of like tension. Friday is Venus. That's why a lot of people wants to go out, have fun. And it's all about pleasure on Friday. You see that everybody you ask um, to go out, it's always going to be, a, you know, majority are Friday. Right. So that's when, you know, timing is important. So download the step two and then I'll teach you more about that app also. So. Um, you have the star card and the ten of cups. In your chart over here, we have sun in the first house. Sun in the first house brings you this light. Okay, it's a oh happy birthday by the way. It's officially the Aries season. Sun in the first house gives you this light, this energy. You know, this becomes a king. Sun is exalted in Aries. However, Rahu is there. Okay. Which means the eclipse is coming, 17, 18, 19, 20. In three days, the eclipse is coming. Explains all this. This is Rahu right there. Okay? So think of Rahu when I mention it. It is the confusion. It is stirring away from the light. The goal of Rahu is to eclipse the sun. So the sun will be eclipsed. The ruler of your fifth house, which is dating, romance, will be eclipsed. But after this eclipse, I feel like you will see through it. So it's a breakthrough that you're going to have, but you will see the darkness first, which you are in the darkness. Five cups with a, with a death card. You don't know, right? You're definitely in the dark over here. Nine of swords, five pentacles, no contact, no communication. Everything just seems to be falling apart, okay? Because the ruler of the fifth house. When we date, okay, when we get to know someone, it is not on our sun sign. It is not on our ascendant. It is not on our moon sign. It is the lord of the fifth. If you have sun in the first, okay, and then the lord of the fifth house is actually sun because it's Leo, you always go for people who have good looks, okay? This one indicated. Now it depends, you know, different ascendant, different. But specifically for you, if you have your fifth house lord in the first house, you like to have a partner who's really aesthetically pleasing to you. Okay, so they're always going to be good looking. Okay, that's how you attract. That's how you get attracted to them. One attraction that you have. Okay, I'm just giving you like some tidbits of uh, information in astrology. Now, now let me just soak on this astrology part because I love teaching. Now, two people that are famous that has sun in the first house is uh, Elon Musk and Brad Pitt. Okay, so those two, those two alone, like we know they're famous. We know they get, they have wealth. They're kingly. That's what sun does in the first house. It is also the karka for the first house. So we want sun in the first and we want sun in the ninth. Ninth house is better and then um, ten, uh, first house is good. But it is also, of course, sun in the tenth house is also for fame and success. So look where your sun is, okay? In the app, you will see it. 
Now, you have the Nine of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, and the Seven of Swords. Your person has been in and out, inconsistent, okay? Six of Pentacles, the five of, they'll reach out, you know, after a long time of no contact, no communication. Mercury goes retrograde, okay? In your first house. When Sun and Mercury is in the first house, we call this a Buddha Aditya Yoga, okay? So this one, if there's malefic effects, it nullifies it, okay? So when two are in the first house, conjunct is different, you know, but with Rahu is there, so there's a different, different spice again. So your person, lovers and the seven of swords, I feel like your person has been, okay, avoiding you. Your person hasn't been really consistent, but they know it. K2 in the seventh, you have a soulmate for sure. Past life connection. Mm -hmm. That makes it really confusing to understand because there's a lot of drama with this kind of connection. Now, the drama is actually trauma, but how it is coming out is more on the drama, the toxic part. Okay? So, let's see here the oracle. Okay. And then I'll share at the end of the video also um, our, what do I want to share at the end of the video? I don't know yet. Let me think. Okay. Now the classes is in the description, guys. Okay. A leg up. So for you, you want help. Okay. For you, you're saying it's like, I need help. I can't do this by myself. And that's how you feel, right? Five cups to the leg up. That's how you feel. Yeah. It's like, I need help. I feel alone. I feel like it's only just me figuring things out. And every time I ask help from them, six of pentacles, of course, it's a breadcrumbs. Okay? Now, your Lagna Lord, which is Mars, is in Gemini. We love Mars in the third house, but not in Gemini. Because Mercury is a thought process. Mars does not think. It just wants to take action. So you probably have this energy right now. I don't care. I just want to talk to them. Mm -hmm. Third house is a Justana house also. Birth of our desire. So you have, a, you have a lot of want. The pressure that you're feeling right now is Saturn aspecting your sign. Okay, from your 11th. Okay, exchanging gifts. Your person wants to talk to you. Okay, so we see that now. So there will, they will be coming out. Let me see your next 30 days here. The way I teach astrology in the free classes, it's very easy, okay? Because I'm not a smart person. Mm -mm. So I, I I have the ability to meet people. I'm not saying that you're not smart, but if I can understand it, okay, you can also. Okay. Here we go. Next 30 days for the two of you. Let's see. Okay. Best course of action. Okay. Okay. Oh, we have new protective amulets. I think that's what I have at the end of the video. We have new protective amulets because especially the eclipse is coming. Okay, now during the eclipse, April twentieth, um, a lot of spiritual work is mu much better if you can do fasting. That's much better also. One thing that I recommend is a hamsa. We have a hamsa pendant. Okay, it's made of real gold. I'll share it at the end of the video, or the evil eye. Okay, that's what I would recommend. And wear this. For the next three months. Okay, for the next three months. You may not get it, of course, until it's too late. But the next three months, because you feel the energy still during, um, you know, the eclipse. Okay. Your, this is your, I call this. This is your past, uh, your future. This is your future. Okay. Okay. With you and your person. Now, 
since Jupiter is going to your zodiac also in like four more days, 18, 19, 20, I think four more days, okay? Hmm. Jupiter is coming to Aries. This will give you good health, a lot of luck also. When Jupiter is in the first house, we call this a Hamsa Yoga, okay? Which uh, gives a person a lot of opportunities and luck, okay? I'll talk more about that. Okay. Oh, you tried to talk to your person, but they walk away. Mm -hmm. just... So they walk away. All right, but they're coming back. It feels like they don't want to be pursued. They want to be l left alone. Let them come to you. I'm seeing here judgment, knight of wands with the seven of wands. They don't like being pressured, judgment with the seven of ones. They don't like when someone is asking too much question, this and that. So when you message them, page of pentacles with eight of cups, they tune out emotionally. And this is where the tug between you and your soulmate, which is the lovers over here, becomes an issue. When, they, when you want them, it's a no. When they want you, you know, they can have you. And that becomes the main issue. Okay. So let's see what's their next action with the judgment. Because this is about to take out everything that is toxic in this relationship and move forward. Let's see what that is. Lovers is how they feel. Let's see if they have intention of being in a relationship with you. You have the star and the ten of cups. Let's see if you guys are meant to be together with this uh, soulmate. Okay. Let's see. Okay. And then let's get your card of focus. Okay, everything is in the description, so do the step one and then the step two, and then we will be sending out, as long as you sign up to the class, also in the description, you will get, okay, the free classes in astrology. I'll be talking about relationship and romance and your partner. Okay. Ooh, your card of focus. Nine of Swords. The stress and the anxiety. Very Rahu. Sleepless nights. Confusion. Right? So your focus here, Aries, is the uncertainty in this relationship is building up so much. Okay? Like it's one thing after the other and there's never, a, you know, there's never a clear day coming from your person. But I'm seeing here that they're about to take action with a judgment to clear the air. So let's see what that is. Find out, link in the description box below for the extended reading.